वेलकम लर्नर आई एम डॉक्टर आशुतोष कुमार भट्ट एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर स्कूल ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड आईटी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी आई होप द टॉपिक डिस्कस टुडे विल डेफिनेटली बेनिफिट यू एक्सएमएल इज ए एक्सटेंसिव मार्कअप लैंग्वेज एंड इट इज यूज्ड टू डिस्क्राइब डेटा एंड बेसिकली इट इज यूज्ड टू ट्रांसपोर्ट द डेटा ट्रांसपोर्ट डेटा बी फ्रॉम वन सिस्टम टू अनदर सिस्टम Uh, and database connected to you already know from database we will access the data so that is other thing and xml basically used for transportation while uh, html has its uh, predefined tags and xml has self describing tag and self defining tag this is the difference between xml and html in html we have already been we have some tags like bold italic underline so uh, these tag had their specific meaning uh, while xml uh, automatically according the data it uh, define its tag and xml data is known as self describing or self defining meaning that the structure of the data is embedded with data thus when the data arrives there is no need to pre build structure to store data it is dynamically understand within the xml so it dynamically understand according the table it define its tag and uh, xml has not pre defined tags and xml actually is simpler and easier to use and it is subset of standard generalized markup language sgml it is subset of sgml initially it was sgml and later on it, it is its advanced version is called xml and which is standard to create a document structure Uh, and one more thing xml is case sensitive so these are the feature of xml and you can see in this diagram so we have uh, title year and generation so uh, accordingly accordingly we will have title year and generation are the tag of xml file so uh, according the name of table the name of table will be here uh, movie movie dot xsl uh, will also use here xsl file so i'll define uh, i will describe what is xsl so uh, this is these are the ta tags of xml and these types are according the table uh, field so accordingly we define it uh, in xml while in case of html html we in html we have three different tags and basically html is for um, tag text type of information text type of data so Uh, this is one more example xml document can be very simple such as the following so we can start xml by question mark xml and its version and we can write here standard obs and uh, suppose this is conversation suppose we are sending any message to our friend uh, or we are conversation with uh, other people so we will write uh, conversation tag uh, we don't have uh, has to Uh, remember these tags according the uh, information we will define the tag and suppose we are greeting him so we will write here uh, greeting and the message and greeting will be closed here if uh, the friend send a response then we will have the response and uh, the message of response and then response will be closed so this is very simple according to the uh, tags uh, field we define the tag of xml now uh, in this lecture i am explaining one program and uh, how to execute this program and the whole process i am defining here to you and basically it will be executed on uh, the browser so uh, how to write the program uh, we have this file suppose the name of this file is collection so the outer tag will be collection collect from um, collection will start the program and will close it by the collection and before collection we will write here the first statement question mark xml and its version and in previous program you can also see xml and its version so here also we are giving all program will start by the question mark xml and uh, this line i will explain this line first you uh, see the program so collection is the name of the class this is collection of movie so this is the name of uh, name of the table so according the name of table we will uh, create the tag in xml file 
so uh, name of table in database in oracle X, uh, sql or ms access suppose we have collection table so we'll write here collection tag so collection tag is started from here and collection tag is closed here and uh, in collection table we have the collection of different movie so this is first movie this is harry potter and uh, year and generation in which gen, uh, generation it was uh, released so we have given this one so uh, this is generation uh, sorry this, it should be here generation yaha hona chahiye year yaha hona chahiye thoda sa mistake bhi hai isme so title is this harry potter title is closed here year uh, 2001 and year is closed here and generation is generation is closed here to generation code closed here and this is first movie and this is second movie and this is third movie so uh, these are three movies of uh, this harry potter so uh, you can see here so movie should be closed here it should be closed here and again it should be start from here uh, so uh, you can see uh, now uh, movie 1 movie 2 movie 3 so accordingly we have three uh, row so uh, accordingly here we are writing here movie and movie close movie and movie close and movie and it is close and we have three title three uh, three title uh, generation january and year so title january is last january is this uh, there is some mistake ye yahan pe isme yahan aana chahiye thoda sa galat ho raha hai so uh, title is closed and year is started and year is closed january is started and january is closed and same structure is here in second row and same structure in third row so this is the xml program so uh, when we execute this program so we need one style sheet so this is xml style sheet actually this is the xml file but uh, for the formatting for this formatting that formatting means the first line uh, is uh, its background color is red and second third fourth line its background color is yellow so and each line each row having a border so this this is the formatting so we have to format this data this xml data so how it will be formatted so we require one xml uh, style sheet file and hyper reference we have given here href for hyperlinking we have Uh, mentioned here name of file so uh, suppose this file is the name as movie is ka naam aur suppose movie hai to humne ek movie.xml this is movie.xml ye movie.xml hogi and we require one movie.xml and its type is text oblique xsl so uh, uh, xml ke sath sath xsl style sheet we require one style sheet file so movie we have we require one style sheet file that that is movie.xsl to format this data means the heading should be formatted and data should be formatted so uh, we have to move on second file movie.xsl so this is xsl code ex extended uh, style sheet and uh, how to write this style sheet so first of all you have to see in the previous one we we have not defined an, any heading we don't have any heading we have not defined any heading so first of all we have to define heading yahan dekhiye yahan se the data humne diya hua hai and we have not defined heading title here and generation so we have to define the heading so the first heading so we, we are writing here isko chhod raha hu bhi yahan se start kar raha hu so we have started the table table border 1 so table border 1 so you can see this uh, border so border is visible here so this type of border will be displayed by the table border 1 if we will write here table border 2 then it will be uh, something different and table row first row uh, which is having three heading th title th generation and th year so we have to write these three headings over here so tr bg color red and its background color is red so the uh, uh, background color of first row is red here we have mentioned here red and it will be displayed red and we have given here three heading heading 1 heading 2 and heading 3 and tr is started from here and tr is closed here and now uh, from second third fourth second row onward second to fourth row we have to uh, change the background color background color is yellow 
so you, again we will write XSL for each select movie for each select movie means from movie table uh, from the movie.xml from this for each table select movie for each movie movie this movie this movie this so we have written here movie so each select movie means this movie this is this is this movie tag so um, means uh, movie tag for each each movie tag you know? so we have written here select so background color is yellow and uh, then we will write here td table data three time of table data three table data is here xsl colon value of select title value of select january value of select year so we will write accordingly uh, the value of select this one right so you can see here uh, value of select title value of select year value of select january see again xsl colon जैसे हमने यहाँ पे लिखा एक्सेसर कोलन फॉर ईच सेलेक्ट टू बी एक्सेसर कोलन वैल्यू ऑफ सेलेक्ट टाइटल वैल्यू ऑफ सेलेक्ट जेंट्री एंड वैल्यू ऑफ सेलेक्ट ईयर एंड दिस इज क्लोज ईयर एंड एक्सेसर फॉर ईच लूप स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम ईयर एंड फॉर ईच लूप क्लोज ईयर सो वी कैन यूज फॉर लूप इन एक्सेसर इन एक्स एम एल ऑल्सो सो बट द एक्सेसर एक्स एम एल लूप सॉरी फॉर लूप विल बी डिस्प्लेड लाइक दैट जैसे प्रोग्रामिंग में फॉलो होता है वैसा फॉलो नहीं होगा इट इज समथिंग डिफरेंट सो एक्सेसल कोलन फॉर ईच एंड सेलेक्ट मूवी सो इट इज हियर क्लोज एक्सेसल कोलन फॉर ईच एंड टेबल स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम हियर एंड क्लोज हियर एंड बॉडी इज स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम हियर बॉडी इज क्लोज हियर एस टी एम एल स्टार्टेड हियर एस टी एम एल इज क्लोज हियर एंड दिस इज एक्सेसल कोलन फुल कोलन टेम्पलेट match collection so it means this is uh, this xsl file is for collection table so xsl template is closed here this is xsl xsl template so this is the language of xsl we have to write xsl template match collection because in previous file you can see the name of table is collection in the outer tag is collection so that's why we have written here uh, xsl colon template match collection and uh, this is XML version 1.0 encoding this and XSL style sheet version 1.0 we will write XML version as well as XSL colon style sheet version and uh, we have to write here X X X M L N S colon XSL this is HTTP colon double slash www w3 world wide web dot org dot 1990 XSL slash transform So we are writing here this uh, statement over here, and uh, this is the output of this file. So you can see the output. So without writing this XML code, we cannot uh, display the data of this XML file. So otherwise, it will be displayed in hierarchy order. And when we have to format it, then we require movie dot XML. And uh, so this is the end of this XML program. so thank you very much for listening this program thank you again